Hello and welcome in once again to Palacio de Deportes de la Community de la Comunidad in beautiful historic Madrid for the 2023 FIBA U19 Women's Basketball World Cup. My name is Craig Feta and I'll be with you for this gold medal matchup between Group A winner and world number one USA. Big part Group B winner, Group A winner and world number four Spain. We're so glad you can be with us wherever you're tuned in from around the world. It's going to be a little bit different style of a broadcast than you might be used to. I'll be interacting live with those of you watching on our YouTube live stream. 
and responding to questions and comments in the chat so I won't be hitting on every play on the floor. If you do engage in the YouTube chat, we just ask that you keep it friendly and respectful and we will all have a good time. Don't forget, you can also check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Next Gen Hoops and the official tournament website, U19WorldCup.Basketball. And when you share or comment, use the hashtag FIBAU19. As we get a look at the starting lineup for Team USA, same starting five for Joni Taylor. Tilana Lipolo, Kiki Rice, Cody McMahon, Chloe Kitts, and Grace Van Sluten. You get a great look at the Texas A&M head coach. She is assisted by Terry Morin and Delisha Milton-Jones. Time now for the starters for Spain. Buena Vida, Eva Bermejo, Awafam, Carla Brito, and Elena Moreno. Same starting five were not used in the semifinal win yesterday over Canada. One of the comments says, USA is the favorite, but Spain never gives up. That's why they are in the gold medal game. No question about that. Spain has had a much tougher road. You may say that they are much more battle-tested in this tournament than USA. Spain had to make it out of that group, a group of death with the second, third, and fourth ranked teams in the world. Came through that unscathed. Defeated, uh, defeated Australia, France, and Argentina. And then Chinese Taipei. Lithuania, a very good Lithuania team in the quarterfinals, and then a very good Canada team in the semis. Played a lot of close games. Team USA, meanwhile, as expected, steamrolled their way through the group phase, defeating Mali, a very good Mali team, Germany, and Chinese Taipei, and then defeated Argentina. doubled up Czech Republic in the quarters, 121-61, and then defeated a very good France team rather easily in the semis, 80-57. to Pablo asks where I am. I am right smack in the middle of the USA in the state of Illinois. Thanks for watching. Nearly 200 likes already. I think we can get to 750 this game. 5,000 folks tuned in already. If you have not already, go ahead, give us that thumbs up. And while you're there, subscribe to FIBA the Basketball channel on YouTube. A lot of great content coming up throughout the remainder of this summer. Just a couple of moments away from tip off our officials for this game, Andres. Ankrogers of Latvia, Alan Dos Santos of Brazil, and Vencislav Velikov of Bulgaria. Here's the overhead look at this beautiful LED glass floor, and we are underway in the gold medal game at the 2023 FIBA U19 Women's Basketball World Cup, live from Palacio de Deportes de la Comunidad in Madrid. Michael is cheering for USA from Wilsonville, Oregon. You are in Brazil. As Spain starts off hot, Carla Brito gets the three-pointer. Jackie Jones asks where the refs are from. We've got one from Latvia, one from Brazil, and one from... Bulgaria. Here's Brito. One of the players that's going to cause some trouble for USA is going to be Awa Fam as Chloe Kitts commits the foul on the drive by David Bermeo. 
Melody cheering for USA from South Carolina. Sadunga cheering for Spain. Willow Nine cheering for Spain. Alex says this is a very cool court. You can't deny it. Absolutely. And the possibilities are endless. Four to shoot for Spain. Step back is up and good. Elena Buenavita gives Spain a 5-0 lead. Question if the LED panels are outside the baseline as well. I believe there are. These are 50 centimeter by 50 centimeter glass LED panels. As USA comes away with a steal, and then Awafam steals it back. Now the nice find, Elena Moreno with the layup. 7-2 now in favor of Spain. Williams says as a Spanish and USA national, he's having trouble knowing who to cheer for. Count that bucket. As Kiki Rice will go to the line to try to complete the three-point play. Kiki Rice, UCLA Bruin, the 2022 Max Preps Athlete of the Year. USA has two of those Max Preps Athletes of the Year. The last two, Kiki Rice and Joyce Edwards. the outside. Here's Fom working on Van Sluten. Cross court pass, three on the way. That is good! Deva Bermejo hits the three pointer. And Spain leads 10 to 5. We've got a viewer in my home state of Illinois cheering on Team USA. Got a viewer in New Hampshire cheering for Spain. Shot clock down to seven. USA works it around the outside, and now the bailout shot with the shot clock winding down. Cody McMahon, no good. Underwater level says Spain starting off with some hot shooting, no doubt. Spain now four of five from the floor. USA just two of five in this game so far. Little pull up in the lane, falls off left side, rebound tipped by Chloe Kitts out of bounds. And that's going to be Spain ball. My goodness, up over 325 likes already. Really 10,000 folks tuned in. If we can get to 750 likes for this game. I mean, really, it's a gold medal contest. We should be up over a thousand. See how this one goes. Oh, if Bomb has it ripped out of there. USA on the break. Little bounce pass from Hidalgo and the finish. Chloe Kitts and USA back to within three. Bobby checking in from Portland, Oregon in the USA. Trev asks, how many spectators are there in that gym? I, I don't know. Uh, hard to say because most of the spectators are behind the main game camera. And you can see the far side is packed. Ennard says he smashed that like button again. Thank you, Ennard. Sure appreciate that. Ennard was with us for the bronze medal game between Canada and France in which... Canada was victorious by the score of 80-73. And Sluton gets it outside to Kitts. Shot clock at eight. USA resets, here's Hidalgo. And 
foul call. Curtis checking in from Cuero, Texas. One of our on-site FIBA communications people just informed me there are 10,000 spectators in this arena. Chloe Kitts draws the foul. Tom watching from Palmer, Massachusetts in the USA. Spain continues to lead. Carla Brito sits down. Brito, one of those folks playing in the NCAA in the USA. University of South Florida. Ines Nogueiro plays at Georgia Tech. Ariadna Termis also at Georgia Tech. And Daniela Avias Pisano at Wichita State. I believe all players are available. I don't think there's any injuries on either team getting into this one. The new USA is pretty healthy. I don't recall any injuries for Spain. Trev English watching in Germany. Buenos dias, mi amigos de España. Nick watching from Hawaii. Rafael from San Antonio, Texas. So glad we have so many folks checked in from all over the place. And that's going to be an offensive foul as Grace Van Sluten hits the deck. It's a great play by Van Sluten to step in front of Irena Broncano and still stay outside of that restricted area. Hale is watching in Springfield, Missouri. Been through there a few times. Remigius watching from Lithuania. Nard is in Manila in the Philippines. We've got a viewer in Ghent in Belgium. Tiami asks, where is this court? It's amazing. This is in Madrid at Palacio de Deportes de la Comunidad. This was debuted on Friday in the quarterfinals. So they've been playing on it since Friday, but this is a world premiere. As USA looking to tie. Flores goes down, no call, a good no call. Well, he hits the putback, and we are tied at 12. A nice left-hand finish by Elena Buenavida, and she puts Spain back on top by two. USA running the other way. Pull up Jay from the free throw line, Kiki Rice. That was big time right there. Ansel family watching in Springfield, Massachusetts. Our farm missing. Chloe Kidd says, look what I found. Ball lands in her hand and she goes right back up with it with the right hand. Lays it in and USA is on top 16-14. <laughs> UCLA Athletics says checking in from well you know I'm guessing you're somewhere in maybe California UCLA Athletics I don't know just a guess probably in Los Angeles I would think USA on top, 16-14, the gold medal game of the 2023 FIBA U19 Women's Basketball World Cup. We are 
so glad you can be with us wherever you're tuned in from around the world. And if you are in Würzburg, Germany, watching from Morocco as well, somebody asked, how come the NBA doesn't have this floor? I think it's got to get a lot more gameplay tested before the NBA with players making millions and millions and millions of dollars to play on this floor as a matter of regular practice. They have got to make absolute certain with repeated high level gameplay that this floor can hold up as far as traction, durability, and reliability. No doubt a ton of testing has already been done, otherwise it wouldn't be in play right now. But it's like when you put a new model out on a car, it's been tested and tested and tested at the factory, but not until it gets in the hands of lots of drivers out there that you can start to find maybe some little bugs that need to get worked out. Long two-pointer no good by London Jones, and I believe that foul is going to be on Cody McMahon. Samuel watching from Hull City in the UK. He's neutral on this one. Wayne from Waterford in Ireland. Wayne, I hope you're picture is crystal clear there in Waterford. Three-pointer a little too strong. Rebound USA. Rebound pulled down by London Jones and now stolen away by Spain. Irena Brocano rolling over the ball and a jump ball called. A lot of UCLA fans in here, at least in our YouTube live stream chat. London Jones and Kiki Rice. Playing at the UCLA. Nancy cheering for Jordan. Three on the shot clock. USA turns it over. They were not going to get a shot off anyway. EJ watching from Minnesota. Wow, the athletic lay in there. Iana Martin, my goodness. I think she got maybe poked in the eye. As we look at the rebound there, by Daniela Abias. See if we can see. Yeah, I think. See the hand just swipe across. A little nosebleed there. There's Hidalgo. Left side. Booker. Third jumper, no. Rebound swooped in and grabbed by McMahon. That time, Booker doesn't miss. And USA back on top, 18-16. Conflict in the chat cheering for UConn Huskies. No doubt wanting to see Ali Zebel from Nina, Wisconsin, a UConn commit. Comment saying USA needs to slow down and relax. There is Ali Zebel, 17 year old from Nina, Wisconsin. USA defense hounding Spain. Now that shot gets blocked. I believe that was Joyce Edwards on the block. USA running. London Jones has to pull it up. Now the lob inside. Beautiful ball movement by USA as Joyce Edwards finishes. 
And it's a five-point lead for the Americans coming up on 30 seconds to play. Holly Hoop says Iana Martin for MVP. Iana Martin averaging 15.7 points per game. I think there's a couple other folks in this tournament where as good as Iana Martin has played, I think there's a couple other folks that would be ahead of her for the MVP conversation. USA to inbound. The second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Jumper wide left, Spain the rebound. Shot clock off, game clock at four, now three. Back outside, three on the way, no good. And USA will take a 21-16 lead into the second quarter. This is the 2023 FIBA U19 Women's Basketball World Cup live from Madrid. Second quarter action when we return. basketball fans don't forget to download the FIBA World Cup app to get the latest news live stats and much more Twenty-one sixteen in favor of USA over Spain after one quarter in the gold medal game at the 2023 FIBA U19 Women's Basketball World Cup. My name's Craig Fayne. So glad you can be with us wherever you're tuned in from around the world. Still some discussion in our YouTube live stream chat about the MVP of this tournament. You can vote on the MVP by going to the official tournament website, U19WorldCup.Basketball slash women and voting for who you think should be the MVP of this tournament. A lot of great candidates out there. Toby Fournier of Canada, Leila Lacan of France. Certainly Iana Martin would be in that conversation. I don't know that there's anybody on Team USA that has the numbers. to get the MVP. Chloe Kitts was mentioned. She was averaging, or she is averaging, 10 points and 7.8 rebounds, but I don't think that puts her in the top 20 in either category. For my money, I think Kiki Rice is probably in the top Three, maybe two. Players in this tournament talent-wise, but she's averaging, quote unquote, only 10.7 points and five rebounds per game. So one of two free throws hit.
Leiter says the best player on the best team should be MVP. I don't necessarily agree with that. French Chicken says that's a foul. Why is everybody going crazy? <laughs> I was wondering the same thing myself, French Chicken. Absolutely no question there was a foul there. As Daniela Abias misses, but Spain gets it back. And a travel. Alicia Flores. And again, not sure what the, what the fans are upset about. That's a travel 100 out of 100 times in pretty much any league. Footer rolls off. Rebound, Ines Maguero. Yeah, Bobby Wislowski says, I love Kitts, Edwards, or Rice for MVP. They've all been killing it. Yeah, but they just, they don't, for as good as they are, they just don't have the numbers. Spain has had a much more difficult path to get to the final. And USA is so balanced that nobody's really had any outstanding numbers. So USA up by eight now, 24-16. Spain has not scored in this second quarter. Shot blocked. Here comes USA back the other way. Three-pointer lined up. No. Rebound underneath. Madison Booker. And USA turns it over. Etienne Leroy says, Du Tau and Lacan for France are the best five. Yep, absolutely. I think your all star five is pretty good. Hole in our YouTube live stream chat. More than 3,200 votes. 57% think Spain are going to win this game. Chris Gray says it's about Numbers per the minutes they played, not numbers overall. That's a, that's a very good point. Second free throw attempt falls off. Spain still has not scored in this second quarter yet. 18-footer splash. USA now up 10. 26-16 on the jumper by Chloe Kitts. And Spain takes timeout. This is the 2023 FIBA U19 Women's Basketball World Cup. Live from Madrid, we are back in just a moment. USA by 10, 26, 16. USA defense absolutely suffocating Spain. In the second quarter, not giving up a single point yet.
R2, R2 asks, why is Spain not scoring? <laughs> Team USA's defense has really been tight in the second quarter. Pass into the corner, now back to Pham. Shot clock at seven. Buena Vida, and now the three. Splash, that one. Spain backed it within seven. Diana Martin hits the three-pointer. Her first three points of this game. Five on the shot clock for USA. That one a little too strong for Kiki Rice, but she gets the rebound. Three from the corner, Ali Zebel misses. Again, if you're just joining us, thank you so much for being with us wherever you're tuned in from around the world. A little bit different style of a broadcast. If you are just joining us for the first time, try to interact with the viewers on our YouTube live stream, responding to questions and comments in the live chat. Let us know where you're watching from. Maybe we can try to give you a shout out during the game. Jumper short, rebound Chloe Kitts. Six minutes to play in this second quarter. And an unsportsmanlike against Chloe Kitts. And she's pleading her case. See if we can see what happened here. She just put her arm up a little bit. That appeared to be a little bit of a uh, sell job there. There was definitely contact, but I don't know if it was enough to push the player to the floor. Hey, pure Boricua watching from Puerto Rico. Joe checking in from Nina, Wisconsin. Home of Ali Zebel. First free throw short. Second free throw is in. Even watching about 120 miles north of me in Chicago. Glad you can be with us, Stephen. Nearly 700 likes already. Should be able to get well over 1,000 on this game. Great move by Awa Fam. She's been doing that all tournament long. And Fam has Spain back to within four. Those are her first two points of this game. Here comes Rice. She gives it up, spinning. Cody McMahon. Spain comes out of there with it. D is watching from Sparta, New Jersey. Wilson watching from Switzerland. The drive by Flores. Count it! And she's going to go to the free throw line to try to complete the three point play. Well, we knew Spain wasn't going to go away easily. Alicia Flores pumped up. Gabriel says, vamos Spain. in Philadelphia, in Sweden. Three-point play is complete, and Spain back to within one. Ten 
Ten footer is good. Pretty pull up there by Joyce Edwards. 17 year old from Camden, South Carolina. Spain working it around the outside. Here's Martin, and now Buena Vida, and a whistle. The travel called, and it's going to be USA ball. For more great content on all these tremendous young athletes on both the men's and women's side, check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Next Gen Hoops. And for more content, official content, all the stats, recaps, news, highlights, videos, Plus, you can vote for MVP on this tournament by going to the official tournament website, u19worldcup.basketball slash women. And don't forget to subscribe to FIBA the Basketball channel on YouTube. Yes, there's a lot more great content coming up the rest of this summer and this year. Foul whistled on Talana Lipolo. Sue Alexander says, let's go USA. Tucson, Arizona, proud of Rhea Cunningham. Arizona Wildcats. He throws straight through. The viewer in Serbia as well. Both free throws good, and Spain again back to within one. Coming up on four minutes to play in this second quarter. Baseline drive, London Jones. She kicks it out. Now back up top to Hidalgo. She gets to the elbow, picks up the dribble. Now the baseline jumper, no. Rebound pulled out of there. And here comes Spain looking for the lead. No. Goes out of bounds and it'll stay with Spain. Chavelle watching from Los Angeles in the USA. More than 15,000 folks tuned in right now. I sure appreciate all the engagement on social media. Great comments, great questions. So if you're in Eindhoven in the Netherlands, just finished calling Games for RSW Liège in BNXT. Great basketball being played in Belgium and the Netherlands. And now Spain is on top. 29-28. Diana Martin gives Spain the lead. Martin now with nine points. Three on the way, just short. Fom, I believe that's going to be a foul on our Fom. And reaching from behind on rebound. Kind of chirping in the chat about the foul disparity in this game, but really there's not. Spain whistled for six fouls, USA for nine. Always seems more when it's happening to your team. <laughs> Three on the way, that circles out. Offensive rebound back up and in. What a tough shot after the rebound. And we are tied back up at 30. It was Cody McMahon on the putback following the offensive rebound. 
Buena Vida bounce pass into the corner. Now the drive with the shot clock winding down. That is good. Spain back on top by two, 32-30. Alicia Flores. And the foul. I did not see the foul call. So that's going to be on Cody McMahon. The referee is not from Mexico. Our officials in this game from Latvia, Brazil, and Bulgaria. USA looking to tie, perhaps take the lead with a three, and that's going to be a foul. Alicia Flores, she has laid her guts out the last couple of days. Really, all these ladies have. Spain, for USA, Canada, France. Shot clock at seven. Left-hand drive. And the foul call. Not sure what the all the complaining is. Clearly, Awafam jumped in and made a lot of contact with the body. Free throw missed by Hidalgo. She's a 76% free throw shooter in this tournament. Other games already in the books today. Chinese Taipei defeated Argentina 79-72. It was China over Brazil 76-62. Italy down to Egypt 64-56. In the ninth place game, it was Australia over Germany 81-73. In the seventh place game, Czech Republic defeated Lithuania 76 50. In the fifth place game, Mali continues to impress. 73 61 win over Japan. And in the bronze medal game, in overtime, it was Canada over France 80 73. So Hidalgo back to the free throw line after the foul by David Bermejo. And that rattles out. Number 29 to play in this first half. Nearly 800 likes on our YouTube live stream. Nearly 17,000 viewers. If you have not already, go ahead and give us that thumbs up. Let us know where you're watching from. And if you haven't noticed already, a little bit different style of a broadcast as we are trying to interact with as many folks as we can on social media during the course of the game. There's Hidalgo taking it all the way herself. Can't get the shot to fall, but she does draw the foul. That's going to be on Elena Buenavita. Can't wait to see who's going to be on the All-Star 5. A lot of speculation as to who's going to be on that, as well as the tournament MVP. Joseph Festa asks, can you speak Spanish? I speak a little Spanish, but not enough to broadcast a game. Viva hired me anyway to do these games in English, not Spanish. So, lo siento. 
Here's Martin in the corner. Shot clock winding down. Prayer three-pointer, no, for the offensive rebound. Great job by Daniela Abies. Spain gets another look at it. Here's Bermejo. Three now to Martin. Yes! Iana Martin gets the shot to fall. With the shot clock winding down, Martin ties it at 34. Ari Presley says Awafam is a special prospect. I agree. USA holding for the last shot. Here's Hidalgo between the rings. Here's the screen by Van Sluten. Hidalgo, great defense by Spain. USA does not even get a shot off at the end of the second quarter. 20 minutes in the books. We are tied at 34. This is the 2023 FIBA U19 Women's Basketball World Cup. Live from Palacio de Deportes de la Comunidad in Madrid, we are back with second half action in just a few moments. basketball fans don't forget to download the FIBA World Cup app to get the latest news live stats and much more unique character unique chemistry FIBA basketball World Cup is the peak of the game It's the toughest competition in the basketball world to win. That is why I will be there. Because when you win for one, you win for all.
Basketball fans, don't forget to download the FIBA World Cup app to get the latest news, live stats, and much more. Unique character. Unique chemistry. FIBA Basketball World Cup is the peak of the game. It's the toughest competition in the basketball world to win. That is why I will be there. Because when you win for one, you win for all.
Welcome back to Palacio de Deportes de la Comunidad in Madrid for the 2023 FIBA U19 Women's Basketball World Cup. One half in the books of the gold medal game between Spain and USA, and we are tied at 34. My name's Craig Feta. Hope you've been enjoying this one. Last game of this tournament just a little while ago, Canada came back and defeated France in overtime for bronze, 80 to 73. Mali took fifth place with a 73-61 win over Japan. Lithuania fell to Czech Republic in the seventh place game, 76-70. And Australia defeated Germany for ninth place, 81-73. We are back to the action. Chloe Kitts, quick turnaround from 14 feet, and that is good. USA in that first half shot just 42%. Spain, 39.4. Little jump hook there falls in for Awafam. If you have not already, let us know where you're watching from in our YouTube live stream chat. We'll give you a shout out. Carlos says, go USA and UCLA Bruins. A couple of Bruins on the USA team, London Jones and Kiki Rice. Shot clock at two, Kitts. Can't get it as the shot clock sounded. Spain looking for their first two, for the pardon for their first lead of this second half. Bomb a little bit too hard off the window. Kitts at the right elbow. Now back outside to Kiki Rice. And she travels. And Kevin Lucas watching in Inglewood. Carlos in Atlanta. Got a viewer in Greece. Christina supporting Spain from Luxembourg. Anthony watching from Provo, Utah. Willow Nine from Vilnius in Lithuania. Ryan in Royal Oak, Michigan. Willie Edwards watching in Atlanta, cheering on Joyce Edwards. Yana Martin gives Spain their first lead of this second half at 38-36. Martin now 13 points. Top 
top to Pham. Now here's Martin. Nice lob inside to Pham. And let's see if Spain can start to take advantage of what seems to be something that works. Getting it to Awafam underneath. Awafam now with nine points. Shot clock at four. Gets outside. Three on the way. That rattles off. Rebound tapped back. Controlled by Pham. Now here's Spain back the other way. Flores circles it back around. Now to Pham. Little shovel pass and foul called. Hey, we are over a thousand likes by quite a bit. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate all the engagement on social media. More than 14,000 viewers checked in right now. Dare we try to get to 2,000 likes? Tay says, why do they swap the ball off a of miss? That's, they, they try to back tap it to a teammate if they can't control it. HS is in DC, wants to shout out to their Sidwell friends, teammates. Viewer in central France checking this one out. Shot clock winding down, no, but the offensive rebound up and won't fall. A great effort by Cody McMahon, but she'll go to the free throw line. So Cody McMahon, a 32% free throw shooter on this tournament. And this is the first. Arfiba Mod thinks we can get to 1,500. I think we can maybe get to 2,000. Roney says the commentator loves the USA, of course, and getting accused of favoritism, which happens in every game. And it usually happens, they say, I favor both teams at some point or another, which means I'm doing my job. <laughs> I'm showing enthusiasm to both teams whenever they do something good. Don't forget, you can also share this live stream once you click that like button. Go ahead and share it with your friends and family. Use the hashtag FIBAU19. We've got a great game that your basketball-loving friends and family will not want to miss as Chloe Kitts gets the finish. And we are tied back up at 41. I'm not cheering more to the USA. I'm equally enthusiastic when Spain does something well. Sorry you think otherwise, but that's the truth. A beautiful split of the defense there. And the underhand lay-in, Elena Buena Vida. She's had her, herself a fine tournament. And now here's Joyce Edwards. Her shot is up and in over Awafam. It does not look like USA is going to be able to run away from Spain in this one. We've heard a lot of chatter about how USA was just going to blow everybody out, but I said from the beginning, Spain is much more battle-tested in this tournament than USA is. They had a much tougher road to get to the final, played much tougher teams. Now Buena Vida off the glass and in. Beautiful take from the side. And Buena Vida gives Spain the two-point lead, 
So a foul called on Iana Martin. And that great take from the corner by Buena Vida. Yeah, don't forget, you can vote on the tournament MVP. On the official tournament website, u19worldcup.basketball slash women. Nice drive there by Cody McMahon. Can't connect, but she will go to the free throw line. Foul is going to be on Elena Moreno. And to line up the second. And we are tied at 45. 420 to play third quarter. Now here's Martin. Thumb on the handoff. Shot clock down to seven. And Fom goes to the floor. Can't come up with it. And now a foul. <laughs> As Madison Booker continued to try to chase that ball down. Peter says Buena Vida has to step up for Spain if they want to win this game. Buena Vida with eight points and five assists. Hidalgo, a little up and under move. And now here comes Spain back the other way. Question in the chat, is this a gold medal? Yes, this is for the gold medal at the 2023 FIBA U19 Women's Basketball World Cup. It's been a tremendous tournament. Fom can't get it. The putback will not count, but our Fom will go to the free throw line for a pair. Robert says, U.S. needs to just go five out and spread Spain out and get downhill. Running an offense in anticipation of winning, not what is best for the team out there on the floor to be effective. It's an interesting take, Robert. You may be right. First free throw is good. Denny says this new floor appears to be really slippery. I, I haven't seen players slipping on it. I haven't seen them slip any more than I would see on hardwood. Oh, a nice take there by London Jones. She gets the easy layup off the glass to tie it up at 47. We heard a lot yesterday that people did not like all the squeaking of the shoes on this glass surface. Now at the other end, Spain gets the lead back. Hidalgo's jumper is in. And we're tied back up at 49. My goodness. Two and a half minutes to play in this third quarter. There's Flores back outside. Now Moreno, just outside the left elbow, no good. Rebounded by Grace Van Sluten. That short jumper is up and good. The USA takes the lead, 51-49, and we have a timeout on the floor. One forty-nine, two thirteen to play third quarter. We are back in a moment live 
from Madrid. character. You need chemistry. Diva Basketball World Cup is the peak of the game. It's the toughest competition in the basketball world to win. That is why I will be there. Because when you win for one, you win for all. Two thirteen to play third quarter. USA on top by two fifty one forty nine. Looked like on a couple of occasions USA was going to start to spread it out a little bit, but Spain has stayed close the whole way. There's Buena Vida in traffic. The pass tipped out of bounds. It'll stay with Spain. Didn't know if that went off of Hidalgo or Booker, but either way. It's going to be Spain ball. Eight to shoot. Here's Fom. Now outside to Moreno. The floater won't fall in. For Bermejo, and here comes USA back the other way. Inside to Van Sluten. It falls in, and she's going to go to the line. Fitz family watching from California. Cheering on Team USA. Let us know where you're watching from. Try to give you a shout out. More than 1,200 folks have. Giving us the thumbs up on this broadcast now. More than 18,000 viewers. You can still go to vote for the tournament MVP on the official tournament website as that free throw falls in for Grace Van Sluten. Head to U19WorldCup.Basketball slash women. And for more great content on all these young athletes, head to Facebook or Instagram and check us out at Next Gen Hoops. Nice job by Deva Bermejo to track that loose ball down. The viewers in Los Angeles, Lithuania, South Dakota. Three on the way. So oh, I thought that was in. <laughs> Ashley watching from Atlanta, Georgia. Erica watching from Arizona. Spain trailing by five inside of a minute left to play third quarter and the foul whistled on Madison Booker. Raymond says hello from Manila. Anthony Williams from Atlanta. Latif watching from Nigeria saying hey commentator notice me. Hello to Lupe on your birthday. Keisha from South Carolina. You were in India. That short jumper is up and in. And beg your pardon, that was not a short jumper. That was a three. And Spain now back to within two. Deva Bermejo hits the long J. With 30 seconds to play in this third quarter. Don't forget, we had overtime in the first game, the bronze medal game between France and Canada. Will we possibly have overtime in the gold medal game? These two teams were tied up at halftime at 34. And they're separated by just two points right now. And a viewer in Columbia, South Carolina. Multiple folks checking in from Columbia, South Carolina. No doubt fans of the original USC, University of South Carolina. 
Chloe Kitts plays and Joyce Edwards from Camden, South Carolina. She has yet to commit. Emmanuel is watching from London. Derek watching from Toledo on the shores of Lake Erie in the U.S. Jake watching from Wisconsin. Just so happy that we have so many viewers from all over the world. And the third quarter comes to an end with Team USA on top by two, 54-52. This is the 2023 FIBA U19 Women's Basketball World Cup. We return with fourth quarter action live in just a few moments. Unique character, unique chemistry. FIFA Basketball World Cup is the peak of the game. It's the toughest competition in the basketball world to win. That is why I will be there. Because when you win for one, you win for all. We are underway in the fourth quarter, 54-52, USA leading Spain in the gold medal game. At the 2023 FIBA U19 Women's Basketball World Cup, my name is Craig Feta. So glad you can be with us wherever you're tuned in from around the world, whoever you're cheering for. This one's been tight the whole way. More than 13,000 folks checked in. Watching live on our YouTube stream. Give us a shout out in the chat if you would. Let us know where you're watching from. More than 1,300 likes. We may be able to get over 1,500 before this one's over. Media Center Man says he's calling it now. This game will go to overtime. Chile says they don't like the lights on the court. I think that puts you in the minority, Chile. I think this court has been getting rave reviews. Leah Smith watching from North Myrtle Beach in South Carolina. 15-footer is up and good, Ariadna Termis. And we are tied at 54. That falls in for Grace Van Sluten. Ellis says, hey, shout me out, Ellis Page in Iowa. There you go, Ellis Page in Iowa. East basketball watching in Northeast England. Viewers in Hungary, India. Short jumper will not fall in. Rio was fighting for the rebound but could not pull it down. The 
You're in Nino, Wisconsin, home of Ali Zebel from Team USA. Did they count the bucket? I believe they did. Just a gorgeous drive and strong finish there. And now with a chance to complete the three-point play, it's Cody McMahon at the free throw line. McMahon three of four from the stripe in this one, 32%. On the tournament coming into this one. Adria says, shout out me from Barcelona. Hello, Adria. USA now by five, eight minutes to play. Saw a question earlier if they use the video review. Yes, they do use video review. In fact, with this new LED glass floor, they just play the replay right there on the floor. They play it the entire size of the basketball floor so everybody gets a good look at it. No, I'm kidding, of course. <laughs> they do not project it onto the floor, although that would be pretty cool. Gets misses the three-pointer rebounded by Iana Martin. from the corner blocked what a great block I did not see who swooped in to block it it looks like it was Hannah Hidalgo what a defensive play by Hannah Hidalgo Spain gets the ball back nearly turns it over a foot jumper won't fall in. The fan comes out of there with it. She jets up court. Rusty wants a shot out from Lithuania. There you go. Here's London Jones on the attack. Won't spin in. Awa found the rebound. Three on the way, Bermejo. No. Rebound Chloe Kitts. Inside seven minutes to play in this fourth quarter. USA on top by five. Artflix watching from Canterbury in the UK. So Ramos, Spain. Time on the shot clock. Martin, the runner in the lane won't go. Now USA back the other way, poked out of bounds. It'll stay with USA. We see a block there by Awa Fam. David Bermejo. Sits down for Spain. French Chicken says, I'm going to lose my mind if USA takes unneeded shots again. Well, French Chicken, it's just basketball. You don't need to lose your mind over it. USA now on top by eight. 54 62. Spain answers at the other end. Showing absolutely no fear. Elena Buena Vida knocks it down. Spain back to within five. Fom the rebound. Rigo gives it back to Buena Vida around the screen by Fom. Nearly stolen away, and it is stolen away. London Jones with a great play. Going up on five minutes to play. USA by five. That one was blocked. 
Carlo Brito, you, uh, rather Spain, two on one. Layup won't fall in. Rebound grabbed by Joyce Edwards, and now USA pressing. And Kiki Rice backs it out. Great defense by Fom. She stayed vertical, did not leave her feet. Kick out. Back inside to Fom. And Fom travels. <laughs> oh, that's funny again. I'm getting the in the chat that I'm clearly biased towards Spain. Earlier I was accused of being biased towards the USA. So again, I guess I'm doing my job. I'm sorry if I show enthusiasm for the team you're not cheering for, but I try to show enthusiasm for both teams when they do things well. Luis, yes, I have done American basketball. Done a lot of minor league, college, and high school work. But mostly the last eight years, it's been international. Baum comes away with it. The drive and the finish by Iana Martin. And Spain back to within three as we approach the four minute mark. Our viewers in Mission Viejo, California watching. More than 1,400 likes on our YouTube live stream. Spain with the steal. Up ahead, and the lay-in in Spain is back to within one. And the 10,000 fans at Palacio de Deportes de la Comunidad in Madrid showing their support these young Spanish ladies staying with the mighty Americans. 62-61, USA calls timeout. 3.46 to play in regulation. What a game this has turned into. Chloe Kitts leading USA with 15 points and eight rebounds. Cody McMahon, 12 points, six boards. For Spain, Iana Martin, 17 points, five rebounds. Awafam, 11 points, four boards. Elena Buenavida, 13 points, six assists. Hannah Hidalgo, nine points, seven dimes for Team USA. What a tremendously fun game to watch. Hope you've been enjoying this one as well. If you have, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button on our YouTube live stream. More than 21,000 tuned in right now. More than 1,400 likes. I think we can get to 2,000. With this many folks watching, even if just 10% of you do it, we'll be well over 2,000. Aldo Dola says, extraordinary atmosphere. Congratulations to the organization. Yeah, absolutely. Just a tremendous atmosphere. I mean, this floor has really added to it. Spidey says, Fam is MVP of the match, perhaps. Madison Booker guilty of the travel. And the fans really into it now. Spain can take the lead on this possession. Buena Vida picks up the dribble. Rito with the awkward shot there. 
think she wanted to pass it, realized nothing was there, and then just had to throw it up toward the board. There's a beautiful drive. Cody McMahon with the layup. A strong take to give the USA a three-point lead. Forty-five to play. Martin turns it over. Tom could not stop that layup. Now again, USA has ballooned the lead to seven. Does Spain have another run? Fam outside for three. No good, and Brito can't come up with the rebound. USA now looking to take control. Ali Zebel for three, that's no good. Zebel, a 40% three-point shooter in this tournament. That was a great shot to take right there. That would have given USA a 10-point lead as we approach the two-minute mark. Foul on Cody McMahon. Oh, the pass a little too tall for Awa Pham. Pham with the block. Here comes Spain. Flores. Giving it up. And now the hand to Buena Vida. She attacks. Bounces off a couple of players. Flips it up and in. What a play by Elena Buena Vida. Yes, evidently I made a mistake with my math. I apologize. That's why I do broadcasting and not nuclear physics. So I apologize for the <laughs> mathematical error. Trying to keep track of five different things. Six, actually. So I apologize that my math was slightly off. Buena Vida completes the three-point play. And Spain back to within two. The fans at Palacio de Deportes de la Comunidad trying to will Spain back in front. Shot clock at six. Outside to McMahon. And she travels. Flores goes down hard. Carmo says, good game, totally worthy of a final, absolutely. 100% agree. Doesn't get any more fun than this. The fans cheering, España. Inside of a minute to play. Spain trailing by two, Buena Vida to her right. Back to Martin. Shot clock at 10. Martin, hesitation move, gets past Hidalgo, off the glass and in, and we're tied at 66. Baseline jumper by Van Sluten, no good. Hits the rebound, she puts it back up. That won't fall. Rice comes out of there with it and gets USA reset. Chased out near midcourt, and now the foul committed by Iana Martin. 28.3 to play. Not 
sure if Alicia Flores got hit in the ear or what, but she was trying to do something there. Did he clear the cobwebs out? And look at the fans. The pressure is just unbelievable. But how fun is this? Tied at 66, 28.3 to play in the fourth quarter. We went to overtime in the bronze medal game between Canada and France. Before Canada pulled that one out, will we see overtime in the gold medal game? Sixty-six, sixty-six, twenty-eight point three to play. McMahon spinning her way, throws that one off the window and in. And now Spain takes timeout with USA on top by two. Look at the drive by Cody McMahon spinning. Buena Vida doing everything she can. One of the comments in the chat were, these girls are exhausted. Yes, both sides. Both of these teams absolutely playing their hearts out. Buena Vida with 16 points for Spain. Awafam 11. Yana Martin 19. Chloe Kitts, 15 for USA. Cody McMahon now 16. A lot of folks saying this is worthy of a championship game. I would absolutely agree with you. <laughs> We've got some folks cheering for overtime as well. Hey, why not? We had OT in the bronze medal game. Why not in the gold? So it's going to be Spain ball trailing by two, 21.3 on the game clock. Shot clock at 14. Going to be to do inbound. She gets it back. Nearly falls out of bounds. Gets it back up top to Flores. Flores turns it over. Shot clock off. Game clock at 10. And USA fouled in the backcourt. Spain did not get a shot off. As Alicia Flores nearly fell out of bounds over the baseline. The play kind of fell apart from there, and then USA stole it away. Spain had one to give, so USA will not shoot. 9.1 to play. And look at Hannah Hidalgo. The 18 year old playing for the University of Notre Dame. South Bend, Indiana.
probably the most beautiful college campus I've ever seen. I've been on a lot. See some of the numbers on this one. Team USA shooting 42% from the floor. Two of 10 from three point range, 12 of 17 for 71% from the free throw line. Spain, 40% from the floor. Five of 18 for 28% from three point range. And nine of 15 from the free throw line. Shooting just two fewer free throws than Team USA. USA out rebounding Spain, 44-32. Spain have some magic. With just 9.1 to play. We shall see what Pernot Canut comes up with. Bam guarding the inbound. Using those long limbs to try to defend, and there's the quick foul. Buena Vida. Commits the foul. USA will shoot after this. And there's the foul. So Spain did what they had to do. And Kiki Rice will go to the free throw line. Kiki in this game. One of one from the stripe. 88% overall in the tournament. First free throw rattles in. A huge free throw here as this would make it a two possession game and just about seal it. Second free throw, misses, Fam the rebound. Buena Vida. Now one of the corner, Spain is not going to get a shot off. And USA is golden. A 69-66 thriller over the host nation, Spain, and heartbreak and dejection. for the host nation as they played their absolute hearts out. Went toe to toe with the number one team in the world and came up just three points short. Now the players and coaches congratulating each other. What a classy move by Joni Taylor, giving Awafam a big hug. Staying with her for several moments, consoling her. What a tremendous game. We had an overtime affair in the bronze medal game, and the gold medal game went down to the very final seconds. They're not kind of consoling his team. <laughs> And unless you've been in the arena, you don't know what that's like to be just that close to a championship. Not a feel for those wonderful young ladies, but you also have to share in the celebration for Team USA and Joni Taylor. They played so well all tournament long. 
we said, Spain was much more battle-tested heading into this gold medal game than USA was. And it's not that USA caved at all, but they had not faced competition that Spain had. And Spain gave USA everything they could handle. Question in our YouTube live stream chat. Will the medal ceremony be presented here too? Yes, it will. The All-Star 5, the MVP will be announced as well. Eddie says, great commentary. Thank you. No, thank you. I appreciate that. Sure was a lot of fun bringing this game to you as the semifinals yesterday and the bronze medal game prior to this one. Let's look at the highlights from the fourth quarter as we run down the final numbers. For Spain, Carla Brito had three points and three steals. Elena Buenavita, 16 points. Five rebounds, six assists. Awafam, 11 points, five rebounds three assists and three blocks as well as impressing a lot of people watching this game Lawrence asks when my next game is I don't know I, I don't currently have an assignment and actually looking forward to a little time off I think I've had tournaments and games pretty much every weekend since May I think I had one weekend off since the close of the BNXT season in Belgium and the Netherlands. I had the U16 boys and girls, the U19s. I had the BCL Americas in South America. Been a busy boy. <laughs> Alicia Flores, seven points. Iana Martin had 19 points on eight of 15 shooting. She added five rebounds and three assists as well as three steals. Should also mention that Alicia Flores had three steals. Deva Bermejo, six points. Elena Moreno had two, and Ariadna Termis had two points as well. Team USA, Hannah Hidalgo finished with nine points, four rebounds, seven assists, and three steals. Chloe Kitts, 15 points on seven of 12 shooting. She also added nine rebounds. Cody McMahon, 16 points, six boards, three assists. Kiki Rice, six points, five boards, four assists. Grace Van Sluten, seven points, four rebounds. Madison Booker had seven points and 10 boards. Joyce Edwards, six points, four rebounds, and two blocked shots. London Jones had three to round out the scoring for Team USA. USA finished 42.2% overall from the floor. Spain, 40.6%. Let's tune in to our public address announcer as they are announcing the All-Star 5. And look at that floor. That is just amazing. A round of applause for them, please. And here is our All-Star 5. Number 8, Canada. Toby Fournier, the first one named to the All-Star 5. That was pretty much a lock. <laughs> Toby runs out onto the floor. She does everything with high energy, doesn't she? <laughs> she says, nobody told me where to go. Let's see 
who's next on the All-Star 5. Certainly, you would think Leila Lecan. France. I think Iana Martin. Of Spain. And there is Iana Martin. <laughs> and the 10,000 fans here in Palacio de Deportes de la Comunidad in Madrid chanting MVP for Iana Martin. Lawrence Hufford says if Egypt went deep, that girl would be on the All-Star 5. I 1,000% agree with that, Lawrence. Leila Lacan of France. Anna Hidalgo named to the All-Star 5. Joyce Edwards. Joyce Edwards came into this one averaging 13.7 points and 6.5 rebounds. So there's the All-Star 5. Fournier of Canada, Yana Martin of Spain, Leila Lecan of France, and Anna Hidalgo and Joyce Edwards of USA. Let's see who's going to be the MVP. Just look at how amazing that floor is. And the MVP is Iana Martin of Spain, and even she is shocked. My goodness. Iana Martin. Fifteen point seven points, two point three rebounds, three point three assists, shot sixty four percent from the floor, sixty three percent, twelve of nineteen from three point range prior to the final. In the final, Iana Martin nineteen points on eight of fifteen shooting. She added five rebounds, three assists, and three steals. Time for the bronze medal. Canada will be getting the bronze after defeating France in overtime.
sure why everybody's getting so upset over the MVP vote. Again, it's not life or death. It's just basketball. And yes, you can be the MVP on the silver medal team. You don't have to be on the gold medal winners. I had said it from the beginning. I think USA's talent was so spread out and the numbers so equal that while they may have had the most talented individual players, and that certainly showed up in their play, they didn't necessarily have the most valuable player in the tournament, Iana Martin. Most valuable to Spain in propelling them to the silver medal game, going through a much more difficult path to get to the final than USA had. Coaching staff for Canada. A lot of folks saying Chloe Kitts deserved the MVP. Well, I mean, you look at her numbers. 10 points per game, 7.8 rebounds, 1.8 assists. Diana Martin has her in two of the three categories. Not to mention shooting percentage. Chloe Kitts is not a great player or had a great tournament. But all the players will tell you the one that matters the most is the one that hangs around the neck. I'm not discrediting the USA. Let's not get crazy. Not discrediting the USA at all. Spain comes out for their silver medals. Kiana Martin. Getting hers first. judging anybody for their views just explaining mine why I think Martine was a worthy MVP I don't know that she would have necessarily gotten my MVP vote Fournier for Canada, averaging 16.3 points and 14.7 rebounds per game, I think was more impressive than anybody. And there's nothing that says the MVP should be the best player on the best team. It says most valuable player, not BPOTBT, best player on the best team. MVP is not decided by the commentator, but people who know about basketball. Okay. And there you get a look at the silver medalists. Host nation Spain. A mighty team USA. All they could handle in the gold medal game.
now time for the gold medal presentation. Team USA getting the gold medals around their necks and hoisting the trophy. Year number one, University of South Carolina Gamecocks. Garcia makes a great point. Yana Martin and Awafam just 17 years old. There's going to be some great battles between Spain, USA, Canada, all with young players, 17 year olds playing at the U19 level. And now, time for the national anthem of the USA. USA about to have the trophy presented to them. lifting that trophy high and a moment these wonderful young ladies will never forget world champions at the 2023 FIBA U19 Women's Basketball World Cup thanks again for watching everybody it's been a lot of fun especially the last couple days with this fabulous floor and the fabulous games that we've had sure to appreciate all the great comments on social media all the engagement once again my name is Craig Feta for everybody at Spalk and FIBA Team USA Golden with a 69-66 win over Spain. Thanks again for watching, everybody. So long for now.